okay let's talk about the standard form of the circle one standard form of circle we considered from the definition as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square correct another one equation of the type x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is the standard form of circle in a plane it represents a circle with some condition because the radius term that should come out as non-negative only then it would be representing a circle so let's see how it represents a circle or if the equation is given in this format how can we find the center and radius for this circle everything will be concluded from the definition part only and the definition part gives me the equation as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals a square so let's change this equation in that particular form that is sum of perfect squares in x and y so that gives me x square plus 2gx plus g square plus y square plus 2fy plus f square is equal to g square plus f square minus c that is x plus g whole square plus y plus f whole square is equal to root g square plus f square minus c whole square so this represents the equation of a circle when g square plus f square minus c is greater than equal to zero when it is equal to zero this equation actually changes to a point we call it as a point circle so ye circle ki equation ho gai jiska center hai minus g minus f when i compare it with the equation x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals r square so h is minus g and k is minus f radius radius of the circle is g square plus f square minus c whole square root correct the condition is g square plus f square minus c must be greater than equal to 0 if equal to 0 then it represents point circle correct so equation of circle in the standard form is given as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0 where the center is minus g minus f and the radius is root g square plus f square minus c correct let's consider the next form that is the diameter form diameter form of the circle that is let's say a circle and the end points of diameter are known to me as x1 y1 and x2 y2 correct end points of the diameter are given if end points of the diameter of a circle are x1 y1 and x2 y2 then the equation of circle is given by x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus 
y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0. So, let us write it x minus x1 x minus x2 plus y minus y1 y minus y2 is equal to 0. When we talk about the proof of it that how we are getting this particular form, one option comes to my mind is since these endpoints are known to me, I can find the midpoint that is the center of the circle. Second, the length is known to me of the diameter. So, half of it will be the radius. When the center is known, radius is known, we can easily write the equation of circle. But when we try to simplify it in that form, it will take some time. So, let us talk about the other option, which is actual method, better method. Let us consider a variable point P x comma y on the circumference of the circle. It is known to me that this line segment will subtend right angle at the circumcenter, circumference of the circle because it is the diameter. Correct. So, this right angle ban raha hai. So, matlab kya hua? Product of slopes of these two lines. Let's say this is A and this is B. So, product of slopes of the line PA and PB will be minus one. So, we get the proof as since slope of PA into slope of PB is equal to minus one. So, slope of PA that is y minus y1 upon x minus x1, y minus y1 upon x minus x1 multiplied with similarly other one, the product of 2 is minus 1. Cross multiply, we get y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to minus of x minus x1 into x minus x2 take it on the left hand side to get the equation in the form the required one correct so this is the diameter form of the circle that is if the extremities of the diameter are known to me then the equation of circle is given in this form correct let's talk about the another form that is parametric form of the circle